Welcome to Volatopia. We appreciate you visiting with us. If you'd like to receive manufacturer discounts, notifications on upcoming videos, and be part of the giveaways we do, please visit, Wallet visit Wallatopia.info. Register. This is this one down here. And before you watch another minute, subscribe, ring the bell, so you can always be receiving new wallet reviews that are coming out. Now today, I'm going to take you through my long-term carry experience with the Trove Swift Wallet. This thing's been, been awesome. But before we get into my general assessments, likes and dislikes, let's do a quick review of the features. The Trove Swift Wallet, the thing that makes uh, the, the Swift is this pull tab right here, which we'll kind of get into. But essentially, it is a band wallet. And it has three, three slots in it. it. has from the top the main slot up here, which is where you have most of your cards that are probably archive related cards, things you don't pull out very often. It uh, On the back and the bottom it has an area for cards here in the back as well. And your quick access cards come here by way of this pull tab. So if you get the pull tab, pull that out, that's where you get the cards that uh, you'd have most access to. Or you can put and, or you can put cash in here as well. And uh, that makes it very handy. It's all very tight, no issues of cards uh, or cash. When I did carry it falling out, this performed really, really well. So you have three slots in this wallet. And that's a quick review of the features of the Trove Swift Wallet. The full review of this wallet can be found at the top of the screen here and in the notes below. For my general assessment, you would think that for a $45 wallet that you'd get more of a wallet. However, you do. It may not look like it given its size, but the features and functions make this one of my favorite wallets, honestly, and it could easily become my daily carry, and I'd be very happy about it. Now, they're only available from the United Kingdom. Maybe there's, I know there's a distributor in the United States, uh, but I would just order directly from their site because you get better customization from them. Now, this wallet is customized. I customized the color of the leather that I wanted here, and this is a full grain veg tan leather, as well as the color of the elastic that I had, and the stitching. You can also do that. It even gets more. You can even add a custom image to the front on this leather in a, uh, in a printed way, and that's really cool. They have a custom build wizard that is really awesome, and if you're gonna buy this wallet, I'd highly recommend going to their site and doing it that way. Now, for my likes. The three pockets provide plenty of organizational space for the type of wallet and footprint that this provides. If you want more, well then you should go with a bigger wallet, but if you like the minimalist style here, then this really provides a lot of space. The extraction using the Swift uh, pull tab here is very easy and putting the cards back in as a snap. This tab right here is just the right size by way of the pull portion here to not be so big that it sticks out so far but just enough so that you're able to grab it and it doesn't really flop around. It's uh, really the perfect size here. The elastic holds everything in really without a problem as well so really good. Now my dislikes. None. I, I really like this wallet for what it provided in its footprint and the wallet category. Again, if you like this kind of uh, type of wallet, it doesn't get really any better than this. And there you go. This is a great little wallet. If you don't have one and you collect wallets, then you really you should try this. I think you'll really enjoy it. So thanks for joining us today. Bye.